Hello YouTube, I wanted to make a quick video to show GarageBand users how you can still use your previous version of GarageBand even if you have already upgraded to the current version which is GarageBand 10.0.2 released in March of 2014. You may have your own reasons why you'd like to still use the old software and I'm going to say the personal reason I want to use the old one still is because GarageBand 10.0.2 does not support podcasting. So you won't see the podcast logo listed here when you open up GarageBand, nor will you see the effects and jingles that were available in the previous version of GarageBand. So personally, I'd like to still be able to use the previous versions of GarageBand. And if you also want to use it, I'm going to show you how. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up Finder and I'm going to click on Applications, already open for me. And then I'm going to search for GarageBand and right here you're going to see the GarageBand logo and I'm going to open up get info to show you that this is the new version of GarageBand right here it's GarageBand 10.0.2 which is the one I have open here on the screen but because GarageBand 10.0.2 downloads as a separate file on your computer rather than replacing your current version of GarageBand your old one you can see here that I still have GarageBand 5.1 in my applications as well. And if I click that, you see GarageBand 5.1. I can open that up and again, you may not be using 5.1, you may have had a different one. But when you open it, you'll see the interface that you're used to seeing. And here is the podcasting tab here and you can continue using it just like you were previously. So uh, that's how you access your old GarageBand. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it a uh, comment below in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond and uh, enjoy your garage band.